Okay, let me start off by saying that, well, I said that there was a program for Nintendo DS to do basically the same thing as PSP BISP. And uh, that is uh, DS2Win and uh, the partner program for the computer called Win2DS. And uh, that's with a number two. And, well, I have uh, Dirt 3 up on here. I turned my <laughs> video resolution down as far as it would go, which is 640 by 480. And uh, I'm streaming that video to my DS here. Now, <laughs> like I said, it's not pretty. I'm going to go ahead and hit the gas here show you how choppy it is, but... I'm actually uh, using my hand on the DS to control it. See, this is the acceleration. I don't know if you can... This is break in reverse, but okay, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, the Y button is break in reverse. The B button is acceleration. Uh, a I did for look behind, and then uh, X changes camera. Okay, now let's see if I can drive with one hand here. still going to be a lot of people saying, oh, that's fake, that's fake. Ah, yeah, shoot, now what? <laughs> I flipped it. <laughs> but, um, yes, the program is called uh, DS2Win, and it also comes back with the EXE Win2DS, which you run on your computer. Uh, so it's DS2Win. You, you, you have to patch it for most uh, flashcards. Just use the DLDI tool. Uh, basically a Win32 GUI that applies the DLDI patch, which um, I can't remember the site offhand. It's like drunkenencoders.com slash DLDI, I think. And, uh, but you can just Google DLDI. It should come up pretty easily. You find the DLDI patch for your particular uh, flash card, mine's a R4DS. Apply uh, that patch with the DLDI tool. It'll uh, ask for like uh, what executable to patch, and you want to patch the uh, DS2Win dot NDS that you uh, hopefully put on the root of your flash card by that point. <laughs> And uh, that's all set up. I did use a password for this server, but uh, I do recommend using uh, CMD, uh, like the command prompt in Windows, and then uh, pull up ipconfig to find out what your uh, computer's uh, IP address is, because you'll have to connect to it using uh, DS2Win. And uh, if you don't, didn't set up a password, it'll ask for a password you just hit enter on the uh, touch screen. It'll come up with like a, a touch virtual keyboard thing. Actually, I'm using uh, custom 
like set custom keys, which is an option in DS2N. And I just have it basically set to letters, and then I just went into the game options and set those as the controls. All the controls work just fine, except uh, it doesn't let you map uh, start, select, or the touch screen. Now, by, by default, the touch screen will move the mouse and click and stuff. My left hand's starting to get tired. <laughs> well, my right hand's doing all the work. All I'm doing with my left is holding the phone. Um, my, my, oops, shoot, dang it. A little unstable on the <laughs> corner of my desk. <laughs> I'm using my phone as my camera. <laughs> Probably a, you know, it's the best camera I got. <laughs> so sorry for the bad video quality. As you can see, it actually runs a lot smoother. It, it, it looks a lot smoother on a PC. Of course, this phone camera doesn't really show that too much, which I, I again apologize, but you know, it, it does run perfectly smooth on the PC screen, whereas it's like choppy on the DS screen. And this is a DS light. It's it's using so the Nintendo DS Lite. This white, it's it's not hard modded in any way. Though I do have a a, a, a three in one put into slot two, and then I kind of fabricated the dust cover to uh, cover it up, make it look like it's all flush and stuff. But I, I actually just got <laughs> my R4 in the mail tonight. So I just started playing around with it. And yeah, uh, DS2N seems to work just fine. It's not as smooth as PSP, VISP is. You can pretty much uh, play with the screen on that with this. It's not so good for playing on the screen. Dang it! <laughs> but, um, I'm sure for some games it'll work just fine. So anyways, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment in the uh, video thread. It's upside down. Okay. As you can see, it's just basically a copy of the screen. Nothing too fancy there. It streams a video from here, from the computer, which is down here, from the computer to the DS. It's the same way as PSD DISP. Except, well, I think the server for DS2N works a little bit better than PSP DISP server. But, eh, that's just technicalities there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing buttons. Forward, forward, go. Oh, there. <laughs> go back. Go forward. Go back. Right, let's look behind. Okay, I'm about at the 10 minute mark. I'm at 9 minutes now. Oh, well, I don't care. Yeah, uh, Google re removed their limitations, but, uh, I updated my phone, and now there's a limitation on how long I can have the video. Go figure. I'm sure they had that with, uh, YouTube in mind. Oh, another thing with, uh, uh, PS, there are not, the... DS2N is you want to make sure your JPEG quality is turned down enough to where it looks fairly smooth on here. I have it set to 20% um, and I have the, uh, the, the zoomed screen 